This is a tutorial on how to complete your guided notes. From your Edgenuity homepage, click on the class that you need the guided notes for. Once you are in your course map, find the blue bar for the section you need the guided notes. Click on the white arrow. You will see where it says View Guided Notes. Click on that. Once it opens here, you should see a blue K over here to open it with Kami. If you do not see that, you will need to add the extension to your browser window and you can ask your teacher how to do that. Click open with Kami and it will open it so that you can be able to type in it. If the box comes up asking you to sign in, just make sure you sign in with your school Google account. Go up to the tab, right click and click where it says move tab to new window. This way you can move back and forth between your two windows very easily. You'll want to put your windows side by side. The first thing that you want to look up is right here, what tells you which video. So this one says warm up. So over here in my course map, I will look for the section that says warm up. Here, I want to make sure that I go to the beginning of it. So I am missing the lesson question. Here is the lesson question. So I would type, make sure that you have the text box, and then you can just copy. How does William Shakespeare use the sonnet form to express ideas? You can move your text box to make it fit into the square. If this pops up, you want to always upload and save to your Google Drive. Make sure you save often so that you don't lose something in case you accidentally have to close or you have to go somewhere and you can't finish. So this is all I can get from this screen. So the next I wanna find lesson goals. So I'm going to click to the next bar. Here are my lesson goals. You will see that the two screens match. All you need to do is fill in the blank. So we have explore the history and structure of and I look over here and I can see that the word is sonnets. So I would type sonnets and then you continue to fill it out. So analyze the rhyme. I see that scheme goes there so I can type scheme and identify the use, identify the meter. So I know that meter goes here. Again, you can adjust these boxes to make them fit, to make them bigger. Whatever you want to do is fine. So then I scroll down and I see I still have the warm up and now I'm looking for my words to know. So I go here. It's not here. So where else would my words to know be? The next place you can find your words to know would be in your vocabulary. So here is your glossary and here are your lesson words. And you can copy those definitions down as you need them. You might have to go back and forth for that. The next thing that I see is where this says instruction. So I'm going to go back to my class and make sure you're in the correct section. And now I'm looking for the one that says instruction. This right here where it tells me slide two means that I'm going to click on the second little square that's underneath here. I'm already on it, so it's right here. Again, you will see that it matches. So we have the history of the sonnet, the history of the sonnet, and you can just look through and fill in the blanks to make sure that you have everything. I see this one says that I'm on slide four, so I click on the fourth little box under here, and I can see here's all the information I need to fill in my blanks. You will continue to do this as you go through all of the notes. Here's your glossary, so you can also click up there for your words to know and things like that. So you can go back to your activity. So make sure you are looking at all of these so it tells you where to go. Okay, so here's still an instruction. Now I see I want summary. So I'm going to go back to my class. And I'm going to click on the summary section. And I will find the answer to that here. Once you have completely finished, you can go make your screen bigger to make sure you can save it. And then you can save. And here you will have the choice of where you can save. It is auto saved, but you can also just click save now. 
This will put it in your Google Drive so that you can turn it in however your teacher is asking you to turn it in. You can also download it to your computer if you want it saved on your actual computer. And that is how you complete your guided